children, right? I hope you don't mind. Dear students, first and foremost, I would like to congratulate each and every one. I think all of you took part in some item or the other, and you all did very well. Congratulations. Give them a long hand. Come on, everybody. And the one who trained them, Mrs. Anila, and who else? Mr. Zaheer, who else? Anybody else? Okay. You all did a good job. Mrs. Anila and Mrs. Zaheer. Now, I would like to say a few words about Mrs. Nasreen. We all know we are going to miss her a lot in the school. She was a very good, dedicated, hard-working and trustworthy person. And now, I would like to briefly mention some of the activities, not all, there's no time for that, but I think uh, Mrs. Rai said some of, of the activity, mentioned some of the activity, but I would like to mention the rest. Since the time Mrs. Nasri joined this institution, since 1996, 21 years ago, she has always kept herself busy doing something or the other for the school, for the boys, for the girls. And now here comes, follows all the uh, activities. She started serving the institution since 1960, 1996 and today with loyalty, honesty and dedication. She started her career as a Sindhi teacher and she proved herself the best so far. Excuse the other Sindhi teacher, excuse me, but I think she did a good job. Yeah, Sindhi teacher? She took over the girl guides too and worked with dedication and taught them first aid and different types of arts and craft. I know for a fact, whenever I entered, when there was scouts and girl guides in the evening, when I entered, she would, Mrs. Nasri would take me straight to the table where all the her girls, uh, uh, sort of did a lot of, presented a lot of items made out of items, bottles, bottles uh, and uh, what do you think, but, buttons and things like that which anybody else would discard it and throw it in the bin. But she taught, taught them how to use these items and made them into useful articles. And they were very presentable and attractive. She used the internet to improve the girl guide movement. She taught the girls to help the poor. She, with the help of the girls, collected a lot of material and then distributed these items and materials to the poor and needy. She taught the girls to remember the poor and to share whatever they had with the poor. That is what we should all do. And not forget, just look at the poor and walk away. No, help them, if you can. She also worked on the stage as a manageress. She directed, produced and directed dramas and skits 
in Sindhi, of course. And she and her items were really good. Then she worked as a housemistress and prepared students for debates and speeches in Sindhi. There were many other items which I'm afraid if I go on, there'll be no end to her activities. But she worked hard day and night so that, and this is all for you, dear students, she was very concerned that you all would leave the school, this institution, well equipped and not go out into the world not knowing what to do. But she taught them how to go about teaching the girls and the boys. Of course, she had nothing much to do with the boys, but the girls, yes, she had a lot to do with them. And I'm sure they must be remembering her today, those who are passed off. And we will surely, you who are present and the ones who have left, passed off from this institution, will remember her. In the end, we can all can do in return for Mrs. Nasreen is, all we can do for Mrs. Nasreen is to wish her the best in all her endeavors in the future. Mrs. Nasreen, God bless you. And remember, the doors of St. Bonaventures are always open whenever you feel like coming back to join us in St. Bonaventures. Thank you.